Hello class of 2019, um, our current sophomores. Congratulations on uh, completing your third semester of high school. Uh, hard to believe, but we are already in the process of getting you your classes for your junior year, the second half of your high school career. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about the course selection process for 2017, 2018, or more simply, uh, what classes that you are going to be a part of for your junior year. I know it seems early to be thinking about classes already, but uh, it's a very large, long process, uh, the process of building the master schedule for next year. It involves first you picking the classes that you want to take and need to take, and then from there, uh, the staff here at school working together to get the right courses and what teachers will be uh, teaching those courses and when they will be teaching those courses. Um, so for you right now the first step is to work on what's called the registration worksheet. It looks something like this. Um, the registration worksheet has all of the classes that a junior needs to take or would want to take uh, next year. The course registration worksheet requires some work on your end. First, it's important to know all of the required courses that you need to take. Um, so next year as a junior, uh, everyone needs to take U.S. History, if you haven't already, needs to take math, English, and a science course. You'll want to work with your current science teacher on what science class that you'll need to take your junior year. Also, the course registration worksheet is where we get honors approval from our teachers. So for instance, if you are currently in geometry but want to take Algebra 3-4 honors, you will need to get a written signature from your geometry teacher that says that you have what it takes or are able to do Algebra 3-4 honors as a junior. So it'll be important to get the written signatures for any of the honors classes that you want to take next year. Uh, finally, you'll look on the back of this uh, worksheet to get your elective courses. Um, there's a place where you will rank the three electives that you want to take. And if you notice on the back of the sheet, there's a lot of different marks next to classes. For instance, uh, some courses have three asterisks next to a course. And if you look on the bottom of that sheet, it talks about that class requires instructor approval. Um, so you can't just jump into uh, one of our new classes, drone operations and aerospace. It requires instructor approval and in almost all cases you have to take aerospace science first. It's important to take this process very seriously. You'll want to enlist the help of any of your uh, family members and teachers that know you um, in order to make wise choices for your courses next year. Talk with your advisor, talk with all of your current teachers, and um, in a little bit you'll be able to meet with your counselors. They're going to call you in. So this weekend, take this home, um, talk with your parents about it, think about it, look at the courses. You can even go on to the Phoenix Union website and if you click on students on the Phoenix Union website, you can find the course catalog for the whole district which gives descriptions for all of the courses. It's important to remember that you need 22 credits to graduate. Hopefully you know that by now, but with those 22 credits there's a lot of required courses. If you haven't taken health, you'll need to take health before you graduate. If you're looking to go to a four-year university, you'll need to take two years of a foreign language. That can be Spanish or French. Um, and there are a number of other required courses. If you have questions, your counselor is definitely the person to go to for that. Uh, finally, the last thing I want to say is do not lose this document, the course registration worksheet. Um, you are going to get it signed by teachers and that is how your counselors know that you can be put into certain courses like Honors Algebra 3-4, um, or some of the higher end magnet courses. Um, so again, take this process seriously, um, enlist the help of caring adults, and uh, make choices that are in your best interest. Um, we thank you for taking the time to work on this. Have a great weekend and good luck with the process.